What's up everyone, it's Anthrop here and welcome back to another video. Today marks an end of an era with Sword and Shield coming out in just a couple of weeks time. I thought it's time to say farewell to Sun and Moon. Believe it or not, the Sun and Moon TCG was released almost three years ago, the base set Sun and Moon pack. And I, it just feels like yesterday. I, I, it sounds really cheesy, but it feels like yesterday when I just like started to open these up. I bought a box of these and it was just so exciting. And our last pack was Cosmic Eclipse that came out at the end of 2019, November 2019. And it's, it, we've just come such a long way. We thought GX cards were gonna be powerful and then they released the uh, the Tag Team GX and then Triple Tag Team GX. And it's just absolutely incredible. In total, there were 12 main sets and four subsets, bringing the grand total of sets to 16. We received the most amount of cards we have ever received in a Pokemon series. And for collectors, it's just been incredibly difficult to collect them all. <laughs> so that's a bit of the background. Let's just get straight down to it. We're going to start off oldest to newest. We're going to start off with Sun and Moon. And I hope you like the play mat. I thought it was very uh, suitable for today's video. This was received during the Sun and Moon era. We've got Lunala, Soul Galio. We're saying goodbye to all the legendaries and ultra beasts. So... Oh, let's get it underway. Where should we put these? Uh, we'll put them onto the side there. There we go. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm more, I'm more sweating than usual. I haven't opened... Actually, that's a lie. I haven't opened this on the moon. Because Pokemon keep bringing them out in little tins and stuff. So, oh, it's on the moon. Let's go. Oh, my God. My hands are very <laughs> sweaty today. So, please forgive me if I find it hard to open up some of the packs. Maybe you ASMR people will enjoy that. Oh, we got it right. So, here is... The out of focus co card. Um, all Sun and Moon sets came with energy, so that's no problem. There we go. They did change halfway through. I uh, can't remember when. I think maybe when Tag Team started to come out, they changed them with a nice little, uh, you know, like uh, it's like a shutter door. Anyways, we've got the, the nice Eevee, Jupiter, Poliwag, Paras. Let's get a nice zoom in. Some of these cards you guys might not have seen for quite a while. Chin Chow, Repel, Corsola. Professor Kakui, saying goodbye to you. Snubble, reverse, and a Alolan Dugtrio Hollow. So we started off with a Hollow. Very cool. I loved the introduction to Alolan Pokemon. They will be missed, however, we do have Galarian Pokemon to replace them. So that is not a bad start. Up next is Guardians Rising. That was the second set, one of the most valuable sets at the time of release because of a card called Tapu. Lele, all decks played like two, three, or even four, I think. Oh, we got a green code. Never mind if you can read it upside down. Congratulations, you own a new co card. Uh, energy to the side. But yeah, Tapu Lele, uh, I think there was a lot of other playable cards. I can't really remember. Uh, Kavana, Taylo, Jangma, uh oh, Delibird, Trubbish, Enhanced Hammer, Enhanced Hammer. There was a bunch of secret rares and secret rare Enhanced Hammer, secret rare Max Potion. Aquapatch was a great card. Murkrow Reverse, and our last card is an Oricorio, which I think was actually played because of Garbodor. Um, not Garbodor. There was a reason why it was played. It just did a lot of damage for one energy. I'll open that to the side. It's not a hollow or better. But up next. Oh, this set everyone got hyped for. Oh, I remember it. We were all hoping to just pull that Rainbow Charizard. I never actually pulled it. I ended up buying, I think, three. <laughs> I ended up buying three Rainbow Charizards. And I think I opened up maybe like five or six boxes worth of cards. I didn't even pull a... Oh, no! Oh, that ruins it. I didn't even pull a, a full art. I didn't even pull a full art trainer in my pack, so it was it was awful. I had I think Burning Shadows was the worst luck I have ever had. Uh, let me know <laughs> what you got down the road. Let me know what you've been getting in your packs throughout the last three years. What your favourite pull was? I'd love to know. I hope you haven't been failing like me. Pansir, Charmander, Rhydon, Lunatone, Seedra, Metapod, Reverse, and a Heracross. Oh come on. Shining Legends. Shining Legends, very hype. They brought back Shining Pokemon after like, what, a 16 year hiatus? I think it came out in 2017, 2018, maybe 15 years. We had Shining Pokemon back in the Neo series, so it was a welcome back. We had Shiny Pokemon. Oh, it's a hard pack. Maybe it's going to be a good one. Oh, it's a white code. I don't know if they're all white codes, but I'm going to get excited. 
but yeah, we didn't get Shining Pokemon since uh, the Neo series, so that was very exciting. Maybe we can pull a Shining Pokemon today. That would be quite cool. I uh, had some cool, I think, shiny rainbow Pokemon as well in this set. So we've got Plusle, Breezel, Totodile, Torko, Pikachu with the rainbow, very nice. Volcarona, Lipard, Energy Retrieval, Electrode, Reverse, I don't even remember seeing this card. And a Palkia, Hollow, so no shining today. But I think you were guaranteed a Hollow in each pack as well. I think that was the first time Pokemon had guaranteed you a hollow so that was also quite exciting up next was crimson invasion probably the worst pack of them all in uh, the sun and moon series it didn't have too many good cards i think the only decent card was a buzzroll gx um that was very playable i played it at the world championships i played it a lot that season as well so that'd be cool if we can get a buzzroll to you know just yeah for old times sake <laughs> <laughs> right, Dino, a load of Jill Dude, Remorade, Aaron, Staryu, Diggersby, Sea of Nothingness, Hakama O, Luzamine, Reverse. Oh, she has a really nice fill art. That'd be cool to get as well. There are some really nice fill art trainers. Oh, oh, have we got a fill art trainer? Oh, got a bit excited there. <laughs> so we've got Olivia, fill art. Very nice card. Is that a good condition? Oh, oh, that's a good condition too. You get put in the sleeve before I ruin you with my <laughs> sweat. I've actually ruined cards. It's awful. I've, I've water damaged so many, so many cards because of my hands, but Olivia, go back and focus. There you go. What a beautiful full art. And as I was saying, there are a lot of nice full arts in Sun and Moon. They really stepped up a notch. Um, they actually brought out the most full art trainers we have ever had, and I'm guessing they're not going to be slowing it down because now we get rainbow trainers in the upcoming Sword and Shield set, and I collect rainbow car, uh, full art trainers, so I'll be showing you a video on that soon. Every single trainer, full art trainer. Ooh, and now we've got Ultra Prism. That had a full art lily. Ultra Prism was probably one of the best sets I've ever opened. I've got full art lilies galore. So let's let's have a maybe well maybe not maybe not in the, maybe not this time. <laughs> but let's see what we'll get. I think this was the introduction of Prism cards, so there is still a chance of getting something good. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Persimium. Shinx, Execute, Magnemite, Breezel, Lily, oh, if only, if only a full art. Magnetoid, Lily was such a good card. Primplup and a Wash Rotom, he's keeping clean, but uh, Ultra Prism was a great set and I think it was short printed so there aren't too many boxes, sealed boxes out there because they printed tons of blisters, I think, tons of blisters, but not many boxes of cards. So. They are highly regarded as quite a rarity. There we go. Uh, what pet was that? I think that was Forbidden Light. Up next was Forbidden Light. Oh, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Uh, Forbidden Light introduced what? Ultra and the Cosma and Malamar. Malamar has been dominating the format over the years. Uh, and ever since its release, it's been a very good set to have. Magnemite, Binacle, Flabebe, Azelf, Crash Away, Poipal. Also, how can we forget the Naganadel line? naganadel has been doing incredibly well along with Blacephalon too. Was Blacephalon the set? I think it was. Or was that Lost Thunder? It might be Lost Thunder. Wow. Arceus Prism, very nice cards. I think, yeah, Prisms were introduced in Ultra Prism, I do believe, and then they continued them through up until uh, Celestial Storm, which will be coming up next. So we got an Arceus Prism. What a nice card. Prism cards were a delight to have. And a Claw Ritzer. Don't know if that's any good. Nope, it's not because it wasn't played. Up next, Celestial Storm. Celestial Storm bringing Rayquaza GX into the format. That was a very good card. Uh, lots of people built decks around it. It was very hyped as well. Uh, I can't remember what else came in Celestial Storm, but I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, one, two, three, four. Fling away the energy. One, oh, one, two. I can't remember the trainers though. Oh, that'd be cool to get another full art trainer. Skinny, Lotad, C Dot, Beldum, Alone Ratata, Rare Candy, Matang, Apricorn Maker, Acrobike, great card. Great card to get as a reverse, so that'll be worth a couple of quid. And the last card is a Shift Tree full art. Could have been a Rayquaza. It wasn't, but will we complain about a full art? Yes, because <laughs> that's what I do. I complain. No, I'm very happy. Any, anything we get from individual packs that is very good very cool card shame it didn't get any play people thought it could get a little bit of play but 
it, it was just not meant to be. We'll put that to the side. Up next is the second sub-series, Dragon Majesty. I can't remember if there was anything too good. Actually, it took me quite a while to get this pack. This is the last pack I was waiting on from America. These were just not selling cheap in the UK anymore. So I was just like, yeah, I'll just order it from America. So I was hoping to do this video a while ago, but never mind. Uh, I never really, I don't like buying single packs. I always get scared that they get weighed, but as you can see from my pulls, I guess so far so good. Hopefully we'll get something here. Rupa Dratini, Swablu. I can't remember what comes in Dragon's Majesty. I guess like Fiery Flint, that would be cool. Zygarde, it was very good in Fire Decks. Zygarde's Reverse and a Blaziken. This was another set where you were guaranteed a holo Pokemon were feeling nice. Lost Thunder Zero Aura GX. That'll be just like the greatest pool to get. I think there are, like I said, Belacephalon as well. Um, but I can't really remember. My mind has gone blank. It's been such a long time since I've opened up some of these packs in bulk or even at all. So they come in some boxes every now and then. Pokemon still put them the cheeky pack or two inside some newer boxes. But aside from that, I haven't opened them in a while. Uh, Marini, Yamas, Dumbfist, Memory Energy. That was never really played. Looked very cool. No, Kecleon, Lampert, Chikorita, Reverse. Oh, that is a Thickerita. And a Victini. Victini rare, but it looks very cute. So we'll put that to the side and we're up to the tag team series. Well, six packs left. Wow, we've already got what, six packs? Was that six? Hey, yeah, that is six packs. And we've got a Detective Pikachu coming up, but we'll talk about that in a second. So our first tag team series, I remember it. They introduced tag team cards and everyone's minds were blown. So much HP and just big damage and the big damage for the uh, GX attack. It was just incredible. I can't believe they even gave tag teams a GX attack. That was just so overpowered. So let's try and get something good. That would be nice. Get some tag team Pokemons. Cool, I did it right. I didn't even know I could hit that note. One, two, three, four. Fairy energy, one, two. I don't know what you can get in this set. I think we obviously get the uh, Venusaur and Celebi, but no idea. I think you got the, oh, it was all like the basic ones, like the Pikachu and Zekrom. Pidgey's a good card, funny enough, with Pidgeotto was been doing really well lately. Metal Goggles, Golduck, Armanite Reverse, and a Galvantula, regular rare. Um, but yeah, so up next is Detective Pikachu. So not a big set. There was only 18 cards. However, I do have a little. I'm going to pull a little sneaky on you guys. We've got another pack. Oh, we're seeing double, but one's an orange pack. We're going to open up the orange pack first. I haven't actually opened one of these. I just need it for my uh, for my Detective Pikachu collection. When you went to see the movie, you got given a pack containing a special Pikachu card, so it's a nice special holo Pikachu that you can only get from those packs, and you also got a random card with it, and a Charmander, I don't think it gave you any rares, oh what's this, official Pokemon merchandise, oh there we go, nice little advertisement, and you get a nice little folder, so, oh not a folder, like a little sheet to say what's inside the set, that's quite cute, we'll throw that away later. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I doing? And then we got the regular Detective Pikachu set. Uh, there wasn't much to it. Um, three cards a pack. Didn't really play much, make much difference in the uh, series or competitiveness. I think Ditto was kind of hyped a little bit. But aside from that, Snubble, Magikarp, Bulbasaur. Oh, oh, we got a Charizard. There we go. We got a Charizard. That is absolutely great. And he deserves a thin sleeve because I haven't actually got one graded. Uh, once again, you get only hollows in this set and we got a hollow Charizard. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Very happy with that. Can't remember if I showed you guys the code card. If I didn't, I, I do apologize. There you go. Up next was Unbroken Bonds. Another very, all these sets were just so hyped because you get Rainbow Charizard and Reshiram. It was just, it was just so cool. It's like Rainbow Charizard wasn't enough. So let's tag team him up and put him with a another card and make him rainbow as well. It was, just, it, was, it was just horrible for collectors, but what a playable card. It's still being played to this very day. We're coming up very recent sets, so a lot of these cards we'll see play if we pull any ultras. That would be very nice. Uh, Jildu, Martial Arts Dojo, Fairy Charm, Lightning, Polywell, Metal Core Barrier, Reverse, and a Greninja and Zora GX Full Art. Oh, that's awesome. That's what I pulled, I think, in my box, in my Unbroken Bonds booster box. So that is, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Even though I pulled it before. Get in focus, you. 
there you go. Even though I've pulled it before, it's just such a nice card. I like the outlines. I'm so looking forward to the newer full arts where we get proper nice backgrounds now. So enough of this like plain background. We're going to get some really nice full arts coming in the new Sword and Shield uh, series. So let's get you a sleeve. And we'll put that with the others. So we pulled three full arts so far. Absolutely amazing. We've got three packs left, including a Hidden Fates. Oh, let's get that Rainbow Charizard, but in its shiny form. Oh, that would be the dream. That would be so good to end off a Sun and Moon series. One, two, three, four. What can we get in Unbroken Bonds? We still need to get a Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team. Those two. We still need to get a Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team, but we'll see. Let's see. Jupiter, Cryogonal. Actually, funny enough, that's a playable card. Some decks play one of them. <laughs> Marini from Mantis. Buki Muki, Vigoroth, Unidentified Fossil, Cubone, Reverse, and our last card is a Toxapex. <sighs> right, it's Hidden Fates time. Come on to the last. Well, the last subset and the second to last set of Sun and Moon, Hidden Fates. I don't need to tell you how hyped that set was. I don't need to tell you. So many shiny Pokemon cards. I don't think any set has ever has ever had so many shiny Pokemon. So, you're guaranteed a holo, so it's always going to be a white co-card in these packs. One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of that energy. Fire energy. Oh, could it be the Charizard? Is that a sign? It's nice to think. It's just nice to hope. Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Metapod, Magma, Misty, Cerulean City Gym, Lightning, Energy Reverse. Always nice to get a reverse energy. Ooh, come on, come on. And oh, Zapdos Hollow Wear. Oh, I got so excited. Us. Never mind. Never mind. We got one more pack. We got one more pack. This is our salute, farewell to Sun and Moon pack. What are you going to give us, Arceus? Arceus, our Pokemon Lord. What are you going to give us? What are you going to give us? going to give us a Pikachu to start with. I'm giving you guys a code card. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Dark Energy. One, two. Oh, what could it be? Pikachu. Teddy Ursula. Nose Pass. <laughs> Flabebe. Roller Skater. Clefairy. Ambipom, Revo! Oh, Revo with Cyrus in the background. A nice full art Pokemon trainer card duo. Not worth too much, but oh, that looks so cool. Maybe that's a good sign. Go on, bless me, bless me, <gasps> bless you. <laughs> and a regular rare Groudon. Never mind, we, we got some nice cards. We got some nice cards. We got a nice Prism card, and we got three full art cards from out of those. So, what was that? A. Eh? 16 packs, 16 packs, 3 full arts. That's not bad to be fair. That is not bad. I won't complain since they were all single packs and individually bought. So we'll, we'll, we'll take that. We will take that with grace. We've got a nice full art trainer. I do like my full art trainers. So I'm very happy with that. Right. So that was my farewell to Sun and Moon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it brought back some fond memories or some fond pain with like burning shadow booster backs but let me know over the years what have been your favorite cards in the sun and moon series i couldn't tell you right now i would not be able to tell you i'll have a little think and i'll i'll put it in the comments what i think were they're just like some of the best cards but please let me know and don't forget if you like this video please feel free to give it a like and if you're new here please feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos liking commenting and subscribing really helps the channel out so thank you very much for those who do i really do appreciate it so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in a couple of days with sword and shield sword and shield pre-release is happening this sunday so i'll be at that and there'll be a sword and shield pre-release video shortly after so thank you again for watching check out my other videos please <laughs> and i'll see you next time